Hey guys, back here at the Extreme Airsoft Six Year Strong Birthday Bash. And I've got with me John from G&G, &G, and he's bringing in some cool products today. But first off, John, let's let everybody know where you came from to get up here. And we got a lot of guys traveling from around the country. And uh, how was your trip? Uh, I had about a 12 hour drive from Pittsburgh. Um, it was ra raining the whole time, but you know, I made it. Uh, it was a interesting road trip to get here. So uh, I, now that you're here, and you are you are a newcomer to our companies that have been in attendance at the event. Uh, in the past, we've had a few other companies, and uh, we're fortunate enough to actually have you here this year. I mean, you guys have been part of our event past few years, uh, but we actually finally got we got uh, we got boots on the ground here. So yeah. um, it's good to have you. And uh, overall, we got to see. So what do you like? What do you think about the place? And you got to walk in to a wall of like 20 different G&G guns that you guys sell. Yeah. So, hey, let me know, what was your first impression? Well, I got here late, uh, about 10.30 at night uh, when I got up here. Um, first thing I noticed was the giant wall of G&G guns. As soon as you walk in the door to the right behind the counter, nicely displayed, you know, all organized. The, the pro shop was a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, you know, the AC's awesome in there. I guess that's a new addition, right? Yes, oh my God, um, this past week, air conditioning, uh, both in the staging area and on uh, and in the store. So, I mean, we, you gotta be comfortable, man. You gotta be comfortable. Well, I mean, the one thing I liked about the Pro Shop was uh, you, had, you had a wide variety of a lot of different products from a lot of different manufacturers, so you kind of catered to, to the beginning beginner player and the more experienced player, which a lot of pro shops I've been to, they don't they just cater to what is at their arena. You guys have stuff for outdoors, stuff for indoors. I was really like taken back by the selection that you have. Well, I mean, we try to we gotta try to keep it fresh because I mean we understand that there are other fields there. Uh, we understand that other players, I mean, they like the outdoor scene. We're only indoor, so we gotta make sure that we can put something in the hands that they can use. I mean. I, it's it's easier to embrace all than push away one group of people. Smart move. Yep. And uh, I mean, have, you got to step out in the field yesterday and do some gaming, right? I, I did. I got to play a couple games yesterday. Um, I didn't bring my flashlight, and I kind of wish I did because there's a lot of the dark areas. Um, I love Moe's Bar with the lights, Bates Motel with this bloody shower curtain. Just the, the detail that you guys have in, the little stuff that some people don't notice. I notice it, and I really appreciate it. I know you guys are busting your guys' butts to get everything done and you know it, it's it's awesome it really is it's really awesome oh now i see there's something on your lap that uh i think deserves a little bit of mention uh so these are uh, so these are new key mod style uh combat machines from what i understand that have a mosfet trigger system in it um Give us a rundown on these guys. All right, the, uh, this is from our combat machine series, but sets us apart from all the other combat machines is the aggressive uh, billet style looking body, the new grip and stock that we have, and the metal key mod rail. That, um, putting the metal rail on our combat machines, um, you know, our plastic rails were really tough, but we wanted to take a step further and put metal on it. It's CNC aluminum hard anodized. Uh, and then internal wise, we have that electronic trigger and that MOSFET. The full auto is programmable to three round burst, which a lot of people like. I had it set up out in the shooting range to, uh, for, for players to try out and they really love the three round burst. Super accurate. Um, I can't say enough good things about this gun. I, this is the nine inch and I'm really in love with it. I mean, I got to, I got to hold it. It's very ergonomic. I love the grip that you guys have. And, and just, uh, if I could, if I want to hold, if you want to hold the mic for me, I just want to get a nice little shot of this guy. Uh, one thing I've always loved about these g, &G stocks, uh, these are very, um, almost Magpul-esque style stock, but with a nice little feature. These guys have a little gem compartment right there for your CR123A batteries, uh, for your lights, optics, they fit nice. Um, I mean, I would put like Pez or Skittles in it yeah, because I get hungry. I put my uh, Reese's Pieces in there. And... Don't forget your microphone, man. I like to put Reese's Pieces in there, but no, um, some other small details is it has an ambi mag release. So what that means is there's a mag release on both sides, which uh, is an extra, you know, little thing that, uh, that players like. I know I like it. Um, and then our 
ambi charging handle as well, which does pull back the bolt. That is new on uh, on our combat machines as well. So, and then the uh, flashy flip up sights that we got here. So, and this is a very beautiful build. I'm I'm excited, and this is a very very fair price gun for what you're getting. I mean, you guys basically blended new features overall uh, f uh, to your to your company or to your model guns, and also managed to blend kind of the the key features of the standard GR uh, GR15 line and the combat machine, like the charging handles. Actually, I mean, it doesn't and it doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you can pull just pull back to adjust your hop up, and you don't have to actually like go into here and hold the door open to do it, it's a lot easier to work with. And it's just little things like that that make a gun uh, just more user friendly. Uh, also, another absolutely big thing, I love the G&G guns, I love the combat machine, but the biggest pain in the butt was changing the battery. A multi-piece stock with the, uh, with the guide, or the uh, basically the the wire covers and then the actual rubber butt plate, yeah. and now you guys basically have that down to a really quick swivel system yeah. that doesn't come apart and is extremely helpful if you're trying to swap a battery in the middle of the game and you don't have to go, oh crap, I dropped my battery, my, my wire covers, and I'm gonna get this sliced up. It's gonna get shot up. Nope, none of that anymore. Just swivel and click. Um, we, it comes in a 7 inch, a 9 inch, and a 12 inch, and um, they all retail for about 215 to 245 depending on the length and whether if you get it with a battery and charger or not. So it is a little more than the standard uh, Combat Machine Raiders and some of the other Combat Machines in our line, but the extra money is well worth the quality and the, the little things that, that we put into it, the little detail things that, that players like to see. So. I mean, yeah, it's one hell of a gun. I like it. And, and does it come? It comes with the rail covers too. It does, it does not come with the rail covers. Uh, that that is that is the one thing that uh, that it does not come with. Uh, you can we're, we're going to have packets uh, with the panels or like a grip stop and different things and different rails that you can buy later on. Unfortunately, we don't have them here in the U.S. yet. They should be coming in shortly. So um, it's airsoft key mod stock uh, um, style. So. Like real key mod uh, accessories won't fit on here, like on some of the other brands that you see, but airsoft key mod parts will fit on here. So um, I know you guys got a couple of these in of each of each size in there on the wall. So you know, make sure you make it in to Extreme Airsoft to buy some. Oh yeah, and I may, may or may not have t test fired it. We had to chrono it. So uh, I, I mean, got a good feel for it. But I mean, this is a phenomenal pickup, and we're excited to have this in the shop. And uh, we're excited to have you here, and thanks for coming in, man. And it's great to have you guys traveling across. And we've been working with G&G &G ever since uh, ever since the first time we uh, we moved into this building. So I mean, it's awesome having you here. I'm I'm glad to be here. I'm glad uh, I got the chance to come up. I'm glad you guys invited us out here. And uh, you know, I'm I'm ready for uh, seven years. So bring okay. it on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna dive back into this party. So we'll see you guys later. This is Hammer and John signing off.